time, that's where we are right now. The last time I was doing a clear out, someone asked would I film it the next time I'm sort of clearing stuff out, so that is what we're going to do today. Right now I'm looking in my mirrored wardrobe and uh, to the left of me is my atrocious handbag cupboard, it is just a mess. So is my, right here, this mirror, behind this mirror here is all my clothes which we'll be clearing out today. Behind me over there is those drawers there, I'll be clearing them out. And if I turn around here, I'm going to show you where my handbags are. That's what I'm going to start with, first of all. And oh my goodness, it is just jam-packed with handbags, makeup bags, scarves, accessories, all sorts of stuff. If I look right up here, shoe boxes, it's just an absolute mess. At the top, there's like our beach towels and stuff and a weekend bag. It is just a disaster, basically. At one point, this was organised. It is now no longer functioning for me. So today, I'm going to do... A massive 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 clear out and I've been watching a video um my great challenge is the name of the channel and she was doing a clearing out a room using the one back I think it's meant to be one box but she was using a laundry basket which is what I'm going to do today as well I've got my laundry basket there and it's not a tiny one it's quite a decent size so the plan today is to try and fill this laundry basket up so I'll just show you a quick scan of the this is where we're going to get started in handbags and accessories and stuff so I'm going to pull everything out of here and show you what it looks like when it's all out and then I'm going to go through it and decide what I'm keeping but I plan to be very, very ruthless today. So let me just pull everything out and I'll be back with you. This is everything out of the cupboard and on my floor. I cannot believe that, that amount of stuff fitted in that little space. Like it just keeps going. It is just crazy amounts of stuff. I'm going to go through it and get rid of as much as I possibly can. There's some handbags and things in there that I absolutely love that I know that I'm not going to get rid of. But as for a lot of it, it's going to be going. Right, sitting with the pile of stuff in front of me, I'm going to see how quickly I can get through this and make very quick decisions so as I'm not overthinking it and I'm not keeping stuff that I don't need to keep. This is a bag, it's kind of tatty, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, let me see, let me see. This is a thing I got from my hair ages ago. Don't use it anymore. I'm going to get rid of that. This little purse, I like it, but I don't use it anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. When I say get rid of that, I'm either going to donate it, give it to other people, or I might do a big car boot sale in the summer and get rid of some of the stuff that way. This is a little card holder. I've got another one, and I use that way more than this, so I'm going to get rid of this. This is one of those little shopping bags, and I do use this, so I'm going to keep that. I'll put that to the side. This is a leather purse. I'm going to keep that. Well, let me see. This is a pouch thing. I'll use that for going on holiday for putting toiletries and stuff in. So I'll keep that. Oh my goodness. I might speed some of this up so you're not sitting watching me going through every single bit of it. Magazines. Already read them so I can get rid of those. Just, what is it? Your home. Home send. Home magazines. I can get rid of them. Let me see. I've got this tray here where I kept loads of little like accessories and stuff. I absolutely love it. little fuzzy key rings and little character key rings and stuff. So I, well, they've got a face, so they make it harder to get rid of them because they have faces. Right, I think I'm going to keep them. We're going to keep them because it's like a heart to get rid of them. And some of them my kids gave me, so I kind of want to keep them. So I'm going to keep them. This is one of those things to clip onto your bag and you clip it onto the table. I never use it. Going to get rid of that. Um, little compact mirror, they're handy to keep in your handbag, so I'll keep that. So that is now this tray emptied, and I'm going to keep this tray, and because these are handy to use about your house, so I will keep that. Well, let me see. This, definitely keeping this, because I'm using it for a night out we have soon. It's a little Susie Smith clutch thing. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Little sequence clutch thing, so I'm going to keep that. There's more stuff getting kept than getting thrown away. I realise that. Let's be ruthless. Right, let me see. This Anne Smith backpack, I really like it, but I used it on holiday. The holiday that I went on, where I ended up having to go away in an ambulance and stuff. And do you ever get something and it just reminds you of something? That reminds me of that. So I think I'm going to have to get rid of it because every time I look at it, it reminds me of that. So that's going. Let me see. This little toilet bag thing, it's a little bit squished. And I'm going to get rid of that. Let me see. This is, I guess, handbag. Um, I think I think I'm going to keep this. I think I've only used it once, if I've even used it once. So I got it second hand, but I do like it, and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to keep that. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Little, what do you call it? 
I don't know, little pouchy thing. It's looking a little bit scruffy, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. Let me see. Wobble bubble ball. That was a Christmas, not a Christmas, a birthday present for my daughter, so we're going to keep that. Let me see what else we do. This, this is one of my favourite handbags of all times. This is a little fair early one. It's needing a little clean. It's a bit dusty from being in there. That's why I think if my ha I would like to get hooks put up on my wall, like probably this wall here, and ha maybe have my handbags sitting out so that they're not like in a cupboard getting squished and dusty and stuff. I can have them out and I can access them. But if you saw the amount of handbags I've got, I've got way too many to hang up on my wall. It would be too cluttered. So I really need to be ruthless and throw stuff out. But this I'm definitely keeping. Let me see, let me see. Kate Spade bag. This is probably my favourite handbag of all time. So it's in its last bag, but I'm definitely going to keep that. Let me see. I love Paul's Boutique. This is a big, massive bag. I call it like a weekend bag. I don't really go away the weekend, so I do not know why I'm keeping it. I, I'm not sure. It would be good as like hand luggage, you know, like if you're travelling, because it's a good size. I'm going to keep it. Oh, I feel bad because I'm not getting rid of stuff. Okay, this little handbag here, little shell clutch thing, little purple thing. I never use it and I don't particularly love the colour purple, so I'm going to get rid of that. Let me see. This is Mark's scarf and it's not meant to be in my wardrobe still, but I'm just going to get rid of that. He just got a new one the other day, so I'm sure he's not going to be that fussed. Oh, deep breath. Let me see. Okay, this here... This here is a little sequence clutch, got little gems and stuff on it. I never use it, I'm going to get rid of that. You see, little scarf thing. Going to keep that. Going to keep that. I like tying it around the handbag of some of, the, you know, the strap of some of my handbags. So I'm going to keep that. Let me see what else. This here is a Betsy Johnson handbag. And as you can see, the bow on the front of it is like stripey on the back. And the bone in front of it has got seriously squished but it could come back into shape but i very very rarely use it and someone else could really use it and really be enjoying it instead of it sitting in my cupboard so i think i'm going to get rid of that i may regret that but never mind cleaning out this is one of those fold away backpacks never use it getting rid of that let me see this is the that my memory foam pillow came in. Don't know why I've got that. Get rid of that. <sighs> Let me see. Let me just quickly go through this and I will show you how much stuff I've got rid of once I've done it all rather than me talking you all the way through everything because I'm probably boring you to tears. Hold on, one more thing. Just so you can see that I am getting rid of stuff, I'm going to get rid of this big huge scarf. I bought one the other day and I absolutely love it and it's way softer than this one. So I'm going to get rid of that. My basket, can you see this? My basket is already almost full. Let's see. Maybe we should do the challenge and seeing as this is full already, I might see if I can get rid of two baskets of stuff. That would be good. Because I've still to do those drawers behind me and I've still to do my clothes as well. So I might be able to get rid of more than just one basket. This scarf here, I've had it for a long time. Don't really reach for it anymore. So I'm going to get rid of it. Let me just whiz on and go through this stuff and see exactly how much stuff I can get rid of. And I'll be back with you in a minute. So that is me done with the handbags and accessories. And this is the basket. It is, don't just think I just put the stuff in loosely. It is literally jam-packed, full of stuff, and it is overflowing. So I can definitely say, even just doing the handbag wardrobe cupboard thing, the ducat things there, I've managed to fill an entire basket. So I'm really, really pleased with that. And here, if I turn around here, that's just my tripod set up there. The, here are things to be relocated. So that tray thing will go somewhere else. My glasses, they're, they're not real glasses, they're just like for playing about with. They can be relocated somewhere else. They're Mark shoes, so they do not belong there. And the wobble bubble thing, that belongs somewhere else. So these are, that's just a little tiny drop of stuff to be relocated. All that stuff's to go. I did hang one of my little handbags up here because it was getting out of shape. So I've hung that up just to sort of bring it back into shape. And if I turn around here, oh, go and focus. If I turn around here, I'll show you what it looks like. The bottom little ducket is empty. It's really neat and painted. It's all kind of chipped and stuff. Anyway, bottom one empty. This one here is my smaller handbags. And then in this little box here, I put all my, see my little fuzzy keyrings and stuff that I showed you before. That They are all in there, so they're nice and neat and tidy. And up here are all my kind of bigger type handbags. I've got it down to one little ducat. I cannot believe it. 
So these are all my handbags. The pink one there, I'm considering getting rid of. I am considering it. I'm not 100% sure. So that might be going. And as you can see, I've got loads of room. So if I wanted a new little handbag, I could get a handbag. You can see my clothes peeking out here. That is the next job. So handbags, much tidier. And then up here, I just used that little pink tray thing and I just put in all my little like purses and little pouches and makeup bags and that kind of thing and little clutches and stuff. I just put them all in there so they're all neatly and I can access them all easily. On this one here, you can see it again, I've got loads of room. That is my, what am I trying to say? That's my scarves. And at the side of it is just a pair of gloves and an umbrella. That is literally all that is in there. And if I move up here, that is the our beach towels. I just put them up there because they're sort of out the way, so it's not like I'm accessing them all the time. And then the weekend bag, and inside that I packed my summer backpack for when I'm going, you know, like with the kids and stuff and picnics and stuff that I don't need to access all the time. So that is up there. So I think it looks a lot better than it did. It is now not all spilling out and overflowing. So I am happy with that. Now on to clothes. So this is my clothes and my wardrobe. Oh my goodness, it is jam packed. I need to make some space. To be honest with you, I'm really bored with my wardrobe. I really want to get some new things and jazz it up a bit. So this is it as it is just now and I need to make space to get some more stuff because as it is, there's not anything else going to fit in there. So let me just go through it and see what exactly I can throw out and I'll show you how much I get rid of. to clear out of my wardrobe and as you can see there's a hairdryer there there was a hairdryer at the bottom of my wardrobe so that is going in the bin also because it no longer blows hot air only cold air so that's going in the bin and this is a huge pile of clothes it's really big you see there from the amount of coat hangers it really is a lot of stuff and if I just pan up you can see exactly you can see that it's cleared a lot of room in my wardrobe so I have much more room I could I'm not sure if I could have been any more ruthless I think I was pretty ruthless I think I did pretty well and you know just like chucking it not thinking too hard about it and just chucking it so now on to the drawers which is the last thing let's go so I'm on the floor in front of my drawers and I'm going to get started and this bottom one is like leggings joggies jeans that sort of things like bottoms and here is jammies I fear that by the end of this video I may need to purchase some more jammies because I get a feeling that quite a lot of them are going to be thrown out. In here I've got like vest tops and t-shirts, in here is my underwear which I will go through but I won't do that on camera because yeah I don't need to be seeing my pants and stuff. So let's go through this one first. I'll go through a little bit of it with you and then I'll do some like off camera or like speed it up and show you exactly what I've got rid of. I'm just looking at all the stuff over there that I've got rid of. That is, I cannot believe that even fitted in, never mind that's what I'm getting rid of. It's crazy. The amount of stuff you end up with in your house you just I don't know you buy and buy and then you don't you're not throwing out and I think if you're not doing that like this you just end up with too much stuff and it can become overwhelming so hopefully it will motivate you to clear a wee bit of your house this is the start of it this is me doing my bedroom and then after that I don't know somewhere else I will be decluttering all of my house I may film it I'm not sure it depends I don't know if you like you can let me know if you like these sort of videos and if you do I can take you around and declutter the rest of my house I'm not really sure of the angles. I'm sort of peeking in here in the corner. Let's get started. These joggies, just bought them, so going to keep them. Let me see. These leggings, these are hideous. And I keep them with the pretense of, oh, I'll use these to do my housework. And like, you know, if I'm, but they're literally, I mean, they're just, they're falling to bits and they're, they're pretty horrendous. And they're like, not as long as they should. They're just, they're horrible and they're going. So they are going. These were my daughters and she was throwing them out, they're super dry, they cost a ridiculous amount of money. She didn't like the fit of them, so I was like, oh, give them to me and I'll keep them, but I never ever wear them, so there's these, they're going. Um, let me see, these little short things here, I wear these with like tights underneath them. I can hear my dog barking in the background. Please excuse me, I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna keep going. These, I'm gonna get rid of them, don't really wear them. This little denim skirt, I actually like this. I think it's kind of cute with like woolly tights and boots, so I'm going to keep that. 
let me see these leggings are they're nice and they're really really soft but they're kind of too small at the waist so they kind of like crush my waist so i think i'm going to get rid of these let me see these leggings as well same thing these are too small so i'm going to get rid of them these i really like these and i got them on holiday and they're the softest material but they are horrible on they're like they're horrendous they're not nice they're comfy but they're not nice they're really i'm not sure maybe i could keep these as my like what do you call them like housework keep here i might keep these and just have a pair for like you know scruffy if you're like bleaching something or whatever so i might keep them for that let me see these little shorts here little black shorts again wear them with like tights underneath them i'm going to get rid of them pair of leggings black leggings i'll keep them because they are super handy this skirt here mark bought me this for christmas but i don't I don't want to tell him that I don't really like it so it just sort of sits in my drawer like all the time I'm going to get rid of it but don't tell him let me see these he bought me these the other day from the charity shop and they're like so super funky I think they'd be nice like an oversized black sweatshirt or something I'll keep these and I think I'll maybe wear them like once or twice and then maybe donate them again so I'll keep them just so he can see me in them and know that I wear the stuff that he gets me um, this is the hoodie that goes with those trackies and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Let me see. These jeans here, I quite like these jeans and I do wear them so I'm going to keep them. They're like all distressed in these. I'm going to keep them. Let me see. Leggings, they're going in the bin. They're like shiny lycra things. They're pretty horrendous. These are like, what do you call them? Harim pant type things. I do wear them so I'm going to keep them these here these are super comfy and super soft but do i need them i don't know do i need them can i get rid of them i'm going to get rid of them i'm being pretty ruthless let me see these leggings here these are awful got these from Primark. looked like they would be super comfy but they are just the most ill-fitting horrible things they're like baggy at the crotch and baggy at the waist and they're awful so they are going these trousers here, these are another pair of like funky trousers that Mark got me. They're like bright pink and stuff. He got me these, I think he got me these from my side shop as well. I like these. I'm looking forward to wearing these in the summer. They're like neon pink and patterned, so I'm going to keep them. Let me see. Little mini skirt thing, Aztec print type thing. I'll keep that. I'll wear that in the summer. Um, let me see. Another little mini skirt, black and white. I also have black and white shorts. They're very similar. So one of these are going to go, I'm going to get rid of the skirt and keep the shorts. Let me see, I've got this little skirt here that's cute for the summer, keep that. This little skirt here, never wear it, that can go. This one here is like the neon pinks and it's cute for the summer. Like, you know the little lycra ones where I pair of flip flops? I'll keep that. Let me see, these trousers I got on holiday, I love them, I'm going to keep them. Okay, these are white high-waisted jean type trouser things and I really like them so I'm going to keep them. I feel like I'm not being ruthless enough. I don't know, maybe I need to be more ruthless. Okay, little short things. These are awful. These are going. Um, Let me see, let me see. Little short things here, little black shorts. I'm going to get rid of them. These here, oh, there's like hair or fluff or something. These here are super comfy. They're Hollister jeans, but they're just somewhat too long for me they're like 35 inch length and they're just too long and I keep saying I'm going to make them into shorts I'm going to do something I never do so these are going to go these here love these jeans super distressed from Primark but again these are too big so I'm not sure though I have put on like a stone recently so these might actually fit me I'm going to keep these and try them and these are my cropped jeans for the summer so I will keep them. That is one drawer emptied. I will go on to the next drawer but before I come back and I will show you, am I cutting my face off? I think I am. I will come back and like put everything in neatly and show you what I've got rid of, show you what I'm keeping and whatnot. Oh my goodness this is my jammy drawer. I think I'll speed this bit up because this is going to be boring. Let's go! <laughs> came out 
out of the drawers. I decided just to get rid of those jeans. I didn't really like them. I'm sure Mark will understand the sort of funky printed ones. I even got rid of the tracksuit bottoms that I said I was going to keep for housework. So, yay me! I'm being ruthless and look at how much stuff. That's probably, like, all in all, there's that back. I'll show you inside my drawers in a minute and show you how much space there is. I just realised I didn't actually show you before inside my drawers, but trust me, they were cluttered and overflowing and, like, yeah, I had to squish the stuff in to get them shut. That's the basket of stuff from my handbag and accessory cupboard there. That's all the stuff there from my wardrobe of clothes. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of coat hangers. And then round there, that's all the stuff from my drawers. I went through my underwear drawer. Won't show you that, but I'll show you the rest of them. So there's that. That's probably a good, I'd say probably three to four. No, probably four, because this is like a thick pile. Like this is high up, like probably four baskets of stuff. We'll say three just to be conservative, but three baskets of stuff from one not very big room. That is quite a lot. If I turn around here, I'll show you. This drawer here is for a little paint speck there. It's not like dust or anything. This is my vest drawer, so like vests and t-shirts. And as you can see here, I've got plenty of space. I've cleared out this entire space. And this is not even like, this is only like half filled, if that. So I've still got space up here and then I've got all that space there. And the same at the back, that stuff's not like piled up high or anything and it's just vest tops and stuff. So there's that. You're going to see my jammies. So it's not very exciting. This is my jammies. So these, they are like sets of jammies. They're jammy bottoms at the back of that's jammy tops. Behind that is a little, what do you call it? Hair wrap, microfiber hair wrap for my hair. A pair of slippers. Cleared out all that space there. Here are my little pyjama socks. And behind there are my little shorts and vest top. You know, like the little, like summertime jammies, like shorts and vest tops there. So loads and loads of space. And again, not filled up to the very top. So there will be no problem shutting the drawer. And if I just kick this over with my foot here, I'll show you my jeans and tracksuit bottoms and skirts and things like that. So here, I think I've narrowed it down to about three pairs, three, four pairs of jeans, I think. And I think I've, and the pair I've got on, so like five pairs of jeans, but they're not like, one of them's like white, they're not really jeans. So there's that. Here we've got like patterned kind of trouser things. Behind that I've got skirts and shorts i think i've got one pair of skirts skirt one pair of skirts really one pair of shorts and the rest are little skirts i even chucked out two more skirts from there that i had said that i was going to keep i chucked out two more and here we have what is that like tracksuit bottoms could have arranged that a little bit neater will probably fix that tracksuit bottoms there and then there we've got leggings and as you can see i don't know if you can see that at the back i have got loads of space and that there that's like literally one pair of leggings so it's not taking up much room at all so i think that i have managed to clear quite a lot of stuff i'm pretty impressed my room is going to make like putting away clothes putting away laundry and stuff so much easier because you're not like stuffing stuff in and i think that i'm going to feel so much better and it has motivated me to take on another part of my house so i will do that another day thank you so much for watching guys see you soon bye